Hi everyone! In this video we are going to learn how to use the recently released image generation model called High Dream i1 in Comfy UI. The developers of High Dream released three models, which are High Dream i1 Full, High Dream i1 Dev, and High Dream i1 Fast. The model we are going to use is High Dream i1 Full. Let's see what files we need to download for using High Dream i1 Full. The download links for the models are in the description. Let's get started. Alright, first let's see where we can download the High Dream i1 Full model for Comfy UI. Let's open this link in a browser. Here you can see the three High Dream i1 models and also their quantized versions. For this video, I'll be using the FP8 model of High Dream i1 Full. Now, if you have enough RAM and VRAM to load the FP16 model, which is around 34 GB, I recommend you use that one, as it will give you higher quality images than the FP8. Anyway, I will be using the FP8 model. Please use the download button to download the model. I already have the model, so I will not be downloading it. You should do so. Let's move on to the next step, downloading text encoders. Let's open the link in a browser. Here we have four files and we need to download all of them. These are clip G high dream .safetensors, clip L high dream .safetensors, llama 3.18B instruct FP8 scale dot safetensors, and T5 XXL FP8 E4 M3 FN scale dot safetensors. It's possible that if you are already using flux models, you might have this T5 XXL FP8 already. If you have it, just use that one or simply download it. Next, we need to download the VAE file. This is the same VAE used in Flux models, so if you already have it, you can just use that one. Otherwise, download a new one. Next, we need to copy the downloaded files to Comfy UI. Open the Downloads folder. First, select the VAE file and cut or copy it. Next, open the Comfy UI portable folder, then open the main Comfy UI folder. Find the Models folder and open it. Inside Models, open the VAE folder and paste the file. Go back to the Downloads folder. Select all text encoders and cut them. Open the Comfy UI portable folder, then open the main Comfy UI folder. Open the Models folder. Inside the Models folder, open the Text Encoders folder and paste the files. Then go back to the Downloads folder. Now right here you'll see I have two high dream models, the fast version and the full version. I'll show you how to use both. Let's move the files to Comfy UI. Open the Comfy UI folder, then open the Models folder. Inside Models, find the folder called Diffusion Models. Open it and paste the files. Next, return to the main Comfy UI folder and launch the Comfy UI. Since I've already launched Comfy UI, I'll skip this step and jump right in. With Comfy UI open, let's refresh it by pressing R on the keyboard. Let's start adding nodes for using High Dream. Double click in any empty space and search for Load Diffusion Model. Click it to add the node. In the unit name, select High Dream i1 Full FP8. If you are going to use the FP16 version, select that one instead. Next, add the model sampling SD3 node. Connect the model output from load diffusion model to the model input on model sampling SD3. I will use the default shift value of 3.0 on the model sampling SD3 node. Then, let's add a K sampler node. Then, connect the model output of model sampling SD3 to the model input of K sampler. Next, we need to add a node to load the text encoders. Double click in the empty space and search for quadruple clip loader. Go ahead and add the quadruple clip loader node. Now we need to set up the text encoders. In clip name 1, select clip G High Dream Safetensors. In clip name 2, select clip L High Dream Safetensors. In clip name 3, select Llama 3.18B Instruct FP8 Scaled Safetensors. In clip name 4, select T5 XXL FP8 E4 M3 FN Scaled Safetensors. The order of these selections does not matter. So don't worry if the order looks different, just ensure all four text encoders are selected. Next, let's add a prompt for adding text. Double click and search for clip text encode. Well, no need to search, here it is, click on it. After adding the node, rename it to positive prompt, then clone the node and rename it to negative prompt. Then connect the clip output of quadruple clip loader to the input clip of positive prompt and to the input clip of negative prompt. Then connect the conditioning output of positive prompt to the positive input of K sampler. After that, connect the conditioning output of negative prompt to the negative input of K sampler. Next, add an empty SD3 latent image node. This node controls the resolution of the output images. I'm using the default settings for now. Connect the latent output from empty SD3 latent image to the latent image input on the K sampler. Next, let's change the settings on the K sampler node. I'm setting the steps to 30 and the CFG value to 5.0. For the sampler, select UniPC and for the scheduler, select simple. Then add another node called VAE decode. 
Connect the latent output of K sampler to the sample's input of VAE decode. Next, we need to add a node for loading the VAE model. A quick way to do this is by clicking and dragging from the VAE input on the VAE decode node. When the drop-down menu appears, select VAE loader. In the load VAE node, select AE.SAFATensors. Next, we need to add a node for saving images. Click and drag from the image output of the VAE decode node. When the drop-down menu appears, select Save Image. Now we have almost finished creating a workflow for High Dream. Next, we can start adding text to the positive prompt and negative prompt nodes. The positive prompt is where to describe the desired image. The negative prompt is for describing anything that should be excluded from the image. I have some text prepared in my notepad, so let's copy that and paste it into Comfy UI. Okay, let's select this prompt which is about a woman taking a selfie in the morning. Paste the text in the positive prompt. Then let's add something to the negative prompt. For example, blurry and bad quality. We can type anything we don't want in the image generation. After that, we can start generating the image. Click on the Run button and wait for a while. The generation has finished. Let's open the generated image in a new tab. As you can see here, it's a great image. Let's add another prompt, which is about a cat sitting in a cafeteria holding a teacup. After adding new text, let's click on the Run button and wait for a while. Here we go, the generation has finished. Let's open it in a new tab. Well, overall, the image looks fine, but I think there are small problems with the cat's head fur. I think we can try to fix it by increasing steps or adjusting the shift value of model sampling SD3 or using the higher FP16 model. For now, I am going to leave this up to you. Moving on, here are some extra tips. You can use a dual clip loader instead of a quadruple clip loader. Let's see how we are going to do that. Delete the quadruple clip loader and add a new dual clip loader. In clip name one, choose Llama 3.18B Instruct FP8 Scaled. In clip name two, choose T5XXL FP8E4M3 FN Scaled. Change type from SDXL to High Dream. Then connect the clip output of dual clip loader to the clip inputs of positive prompt and negative prompt. That's it, click on the Run button to see the results. And what if you are using the High Dream i1 Fast or Dev? Select the model you want to use. If you are using the FAST model, in Model Sampling SD3, you can use a shift value of 3.0, and if you are using Dev model, then set the shift value of 6.0. Coming to the K sampler, if you are using the Dev model, use 28 steps, a CFG value of 1.0, LCM for the sampler, and normal for the scheduler. If you're using the FAST model, use 16 steps, a CFG value of 1.0, LCM for the sampler, and normal for the scheduler. Of course, do your own experiments with different samplers and schedulers. Here I am going to use Simple Scheduler. Let's click on the Run button and wait for a while. Here we go, the image generation has finished. Let's open it in a new tab. The image looks fine, but I was expecting more. Despite this, overall it is a good result and the generation was faster than the full model. On my computer, the full model took around seven to eight mins, whereas the fast model took only two mins. And that's it guys, if you think the dual clip loader is degrading your image quality, use the quadruple clip loader. Anyway guys, run your own experiments and let me know about it. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel.